Hi guys, I hope that you're having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share my top five most used bags at the moment, beginning from January until now and the reasons why. So I hope that you enjoy it. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? So I actually filmed this last year and I love doing these types of videos, but I filmed it last year and I thought it was really interesting to see at the end of the year if the same handbags that I was gravitating towards earlier, uh, earlier on in the year, if they made it towards the most used for 20 2023 and most of them did so that was really cool uh, and it almost seems like it almost seems like the bags that I reach for the most at the beginning of the year seem to set the tone for the types of bags that I end up using throughout so uh, we'll see if that ends up happening this year as well. Uh, but these are going to be in no particular order. What I have noticed is that uh, since January, I, I've really been, I've kind of been gravitating more towards smaller bags and also bags that are not fussy. And not a single one of these is a tote, which is totally crazy because you guys know me. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about totes. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the, so far, like the winter season for us has been, it's been, it's kind of been all over the place. And I just want easy, grab and go, don't think about it type of bags. And these guys have really been uh, absolutely amazing. So anyways, let's get into the handbags, shall we? So the first one, <laughs> the first one is a handbag that I never thought that I would ever own, let alone be one of my most used bags. And I am talking about the Louis Vuitton mini bum bag in the monogram canvas. Holy cow. So I am a diehard fan of the OG bum bag. You guys know that. I love how, how spacious it is. It is insanely comfortable. I love using it as a shoulder bag. I mean, I can go on and on about that bag. However, this little guy has been such a wonderful, well, not surprise, but well, yeah, I guess you could say a surprise as far as how often I use it. Uh, because I, I just cannot get enough of it. Now to me, this bag, what it lacks in size, and I say that very loosely, and I'll get to that in just a second. What this bag lacks in size, I feel it makes up for with the versatility that it has. And you guys have heard me say it before, I sound like a broken record, but when it comes to luxury goods, I absolutely love and appreciate a versatile handbag. I love bags that you can use in so many different aspects of your life. And this is absolutely phenomenal uh, because it does come with two different straps. It comes with this strap that you can use, um, hang on, <laughs> crossbody. Uh, I will be completely honest with you. I am not the biggest fan of this strap. I do appreciate that it does have quite a few adjustments. However, on the longest setting on myself, on my torso, I am five foot five, uh, and I just feel like it ends up being too, it ends up being right in the middle of my chest and it looks a little bit funky. It looks a little bit weird. I wouldn't say it's necessarily cumbersome, but at the same time, it just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't give me, it doesn't allow the same type of freedom for movement that I would like when it comes to a crossbody bag. But then again, I'm not the craziest about crossbody bags either. Uh, so I'm not too fond of the size uh, with this crossbody bag, uh, but it also comes with, hang on, I have other straps in here and I'll, I will tell you guys the reasons why. Uh, but it also comes with this chain strap. Now for me, I mostly end up using this bag as a shoulder bag. I add this little chain strap to it and I, I mean, it's comfortable. It's grab and go. Don't think about it. Uh, it does have the treated leather. So you don't have to worry about water stains. Not that I would anyways, but still I like using it like so. It gives me, I have enough clearance on here so I don't have to worry that I'm gonna get deodorant on the top of the bag or anything along those lines. Uh, so I really enjoy using it, uh, using it like so. I don't find that it ends up kind of uh, going back and forth too much either. Like I said, easy grab and go. And remember what I said before, I say that very loosely that um, what it lacks in size even though this is a mini bag, I <laughs> I wholeheartedly feel that it's more of a medium bag. And I know you guys are probably looking at me like I'm nuts, but I can fit a crazy amount of items in here. And I also like that even if I do have this uh, fill to the brim, I can see everything at a glance. Uh, so it's many, but not too many. It's not that tic-tac type of bag either, and I know I say that all the time too, uh, but it's it's easy to get in and out of. I don't find it fussy to open up the zipper or anything along those lines. 
So, I mean, I, I think it's great. Now, I do also use it crossbody with this uh, with this chain strap. This is from Organize My Bag. You guys have heard me talk about them a million times, but I seriously love their stuff. Uh, but I like this uh, this strap, and I will actually put the exact measurement because they do have a few of these on their website. Uh, but I'll put the exact measurement on the description box below if you guys want to check it out. But I like using this crossbody because it actually ends up landing right at my hip, and it's not you know it's not up here. It's not uncomfortable and I can still have that movement, that freedom that I'm looking for when it comes to crossbody bags. So I think that this is perfect. I think that this is actually the size large, if I'm not mistaken, maybe the 42 inch large chain. I don't know, but like I said, I will put everything down below. But uh, yeah, I mean, grab, <laughs> grab and go. It's super casual. Obviously all these bags, I end up using them, um, you know, as in a casual setting, but absolutely phenomenal bag. And the million dollar question, do I love this bag more than I love the OG bum bag? <laughs> it's, it's tough to say. I, I think yes. I think yes because of the versatility and I always go back to that. Uh, I really wish that the OG bum bag you can remove the strap that way you have more more ways of incorporating it into your lifestyle but seeing as how that doesn't it doesn't have that i think that this one has the slight edge over that one i don't know but <laughs> i am crazy about this little bag so that brings us to bag number two which is the gucci ophidia gg mini top handle bag this is in the beige and ebony canvas I freaking love this bag. You guys are gonna hear love, amazing, fantastic, uh, fabulous a lot throughout this video. So I don't know if you wanna keep tabs on it or what, but that's the reality. Uh, but yeah, I think that this bag is incredible. And because we've been having this really weird weather and it's been a very wet winter as well, I love that I don't have to worry about the rain. I don't have to worry about the, you know, the type of weather that we're having. I can just use this bag. And again, it's the whole grab and go, don't think about it. It, and it's been wonderful. I also like the size. Even though it is mini, it definitely doesn't feel like a mini bag. It feels more like a medium bag as well. And I really think it's because uh, it just has an open compartment because you can really maximize your space in here. And I also like that it doesn't have a divider. I've easily been able to fit anywhere between seven to eight to nine SLGs in here, no problem. If I go more compact, I can fit more. But I also like the fact that I can carry full size SLGs. Now with the full size SLGs, I'm not gonna be able to carry as many items, but still, I have the option. I don't have to go uber, uber compact. Now it does come with a removable adjustable strap that you can use as a crossbody bag on your shoulder. It is extremely, extremely generous. Um, I don't find that it's too high up on my torso. Uh, so I really like the options that you have with this adjustment or with this uh, size adjustment. So um, yeah, it's great. This strap isn't uncomfortable. It doesn't dig into my skin. It doesn't dig into my shoulder. I can easily use this bag for long periods of time. And because of where they put the D-rings on the side of the bag for the strap, by doing it this way, it really helps prevent the bag from tipping over, which I think is fantastic because it drives me nuts when I'm carrying a crossbody bag. And if I have the D-rings on the same side, the bag is constantly doing this, you know what I mean? So the fact that they have it this way, I think is, I I think it's wonderful but uh, yeah I, I think that this bag is incredible I love that it's really carefree it's small but it still packs a punch and again the versatility that it offers I think is wonderful so the Gucci Ophidia GG mini top handle bag I don't know they need to come up with a, n a new name for this bag because I feel like if you put Gucci Ophidia GG mini top handle bag there's like five or six of them that pop up and yeah I can get kind of crazy on the website but uh, anyways <laughs> let's keep going shall we so the next Next bag is definitely not going to surprise anybody, but it is the beautiful Chanel wallet on chain. Now this is in the gold hammered metallic leather with the gold hammered hardware. That is such a mouthful to say, but uh, this bag has been in constant rotation this year because we've had a few events that we've had to go to. So I've had to get a little bit more dressed up. I've had to leave my sneakers and my jeans at home uh, and I've had to be a little bit more formal. Plus, I've used this on the two vacations that we've been on so far. 
I love using uh, the Wallet on Chain on vacation, especially because I love that you can go from day to night very, very easily. I love that it's small. It doesn't really attract too much attention, although, <laughs> although I will admit that this metallic leather can be a little bit eye-catching, but <laughs> I end up just kind of turning it this way, and I mean, you can't really you can't really tell. Can you? Can you tell? Maybe? I don't know. Can you tell it's Chanel? Probably not. You know, if you turn it this way, it just looks like a quilted bag. Uh, but anyways, uh, and I've also been using this to death just to run errands, which is my favorite way of using the wallet on chain. Uh, I love just, you know, using this for a Target run, just to go to the grocery store. And I love that it has that beautiful metallic gold. I am so happy to report that I haven't had any issues with the metallic flaking off or anything along those lines and we all know that when it comes to metallics they often don't wear very well they end up showing age extremely uh, I mean very very quickly and that has not been the case and I have used it so so much even like here where it ends up wrinkling it doesn't leave the ring it doesn't leave the indentations on the wrinkles uh, but love 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 the wallet on chain I think it's a wonderful uh, a wonderful bag and I know it's technically a small of the good but I think many of us end up using it as a handbag um, and I've said it before and I will say it again it it is this style is definitely one of the best purchases I have ever made from the fashion house. I wholeheartedly stand by that uh, because it is so versatile. You can use it crossbody, you can use it as a shoulder bag, you can use it as a wallet. You can incorporate it into your lifestyle many different ways. And again, we go back to the versatility that I talked about earlier on in the video. Uh, but yeah, it's wonderful. I do have a, um, I think these are called the base shapers, uh, but I had a company that sent these out to me I want to say maybe three or four years ago they sent me one for the um, for the black caviar one that I have as well and these have been major major game changers it really helps the bag uh, from not getting those gnarly creases because my black caviar one has some really funky creases on here just because I've used it to death over the years uh, but I wanted to be a little bit more mindful with this metallic I wanted it to I wanted to help it age a little bit better, so I think that with something like this, it really, it really uh, allows you to do that. Plus, it uh, it really kind of opens the bag a little bit more, so you can fit slightly more in there. I'm not going to say a whole lot because obviously it is technically a wallet, uh, so you can't fit everything in the kitchen sink. But still, uh, the fact that you don't have to carry a card holder because it does have those credit card slots and you have other, uh, you know, other little slip pockets here for organization, I think is wonderful. So with this, you do have to go for the bare essentials, but I also don't find it to be too, too limiting either. And it can be surprising how much you can actually end up fitting in a wallet on chain. Uh, but as you guys know, I did nickname this wallet on chain Blanche after one of my favorite golden girls. And I think that the name is fitting. No, but <laughs> I think it's, I think it's amazing. Uh, I will forever sing the wallet on chains praises. Okay. So that brings us to bag number four. And I am talking about the Fendi Fendigraphy in the size small in the black leather. So you guys know that for the longest time I wrote off this style of bag because I thought it was really annoying. I thought that everything would kind of gravitate towards the middle. I was very, very wrong. I happily ate my words one letter at a time, and this bag has been fabulous. I love using this to run errands. I love using this as a date bag, uh, or if I want to not get super, super dressed up, but if I want it to be a little bit a little bit more than just casual. This fits the bill perfectly uh, because it's very simple. You know what I mean? It doesn't have a whole lot of bells and whistles, except, except for, of course, the giant Fendi <laughs> written down below in the hardware. And I love this, all right? I love this because I feel like this is kind of like, oh, it's just a black bag. But then when you see this, it's like, oh, it's in your face. And remember, I'm gaudy. You guys just saw that gold wallet on chain. So this, this is, this is what I love the most about this bag. Uh, but I also added the, I think it's called the Fendi O'Clock chain. Uh, so this does not come with it, unfortunately. Um, I tried my hardest to stay away from this strap, but I just couldn't do it. It. I don't use this as a shoulder bag with this strap. I think it looks, I think it looks hideous that way. I just like using it 
for decoration. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but I love the way that this looks. Uh, but if I wanted to, I can take off this strap and just use this, uh, or I can add a different strap to it. Uh, so I really do like that. You have what, four, yeah, five different adjustments. Um, and I like that you have a little bit of a sag, but yeah, it's, it's a beautiful bag. I have had zero issues with uh, scratches on the leather. And trust me, I just kind of, whenever I use this bag, I just kind of grab it off my, off my shelf and it's just like, boom, it is what it is. I bumped into stuff and so far so good. No problems whatsoever on here or on the hardware uh, down below uh, either. And because this does have a different type of finish, it's not the shiny gold hardware. You don't have to worry that you're going to be able to see scratches as much either. So that's another reason why I feel like I, I just kind of don't think about this bag when I use it uh, because it doesn't have that shiny gold hardware because if it did have that shiny gold hardware, you would be able to see those scratches very, very easily. So I'm very happy that they didn't, uh, they, they didn't include that. But it has a smooth zipper and even though it does have this kind of funky shape to it, I don't find that the items just gravitate towards the middle either. They kind of stay in their, in like where I put them, they stay there. And I really like that I'm able to see everything at a glance as well. I can easily move the shoulder strap over. And yeah, I, I love it. I love it. I really, really, really like the little baby one that they have for this one. I also like the medium size that they have for this. I don't know. I'm just a big, big, big fan of the Fendigraphy. I really wish that this bag had, um, <laughs> that people showed it more love because it is incredible. And I know that the one thing that people talk about the most is that it isn't leather lined. It does have that fabric, but because it does have that fabric, it makes it a little bit more lightweight. I'm not saying it is the lightest bag out there because again, you have uh, quite a bit of hardware down below, but even with that hardware, I don't find that it ends up digging into my skin. I don't find that I'm just like, oh, it's so, so heavy. Heavy. Definitely not. It is such a joy, such a breeze to use, in my opinion. Now that brings us to our last bag. Any guesses as to the beauty that it is? I would love to hear your guys' guesses. If you want to pause the video, let me know in the comment section down below because I have a sneaking suspicion that many of you, if not all of you, are gonna know what, <laughs> what my fifth bag is. But the beauty that I am talking about is the absolutely stunning, the absolutely fabulously wonderful Louis Vuitton No ABB in the monogram canvas. I am glued to this bag, okay? Glued to this bag. I am obsessed to the full extent of the word. I can't get enough of it either. I think it is amazing. Now you guys know that I recently added the Damien Zor one to my collection. I do, I do think that the Damien Zor one is gonna give this guy a run for its money, but so far it's been this one. Like I, I don't want to switch out of it. I mean, sometimes I'll go three, four, five days using the same bag over and over again. Now you guys know I normally don't do that. I do tend to get stir crazy when it comes to handbags and I like to switch them out daily. But with this one, I'm like, no, I don't want to switch out of it. I want to keep using it. This bucket style, like where has it been all of my life? This is another style that I also wrote off for the longest time because I really didn't think it was for me. I thought that the drawstring closure would drive me nuts, but that hasn't been the case. I have a major, major appreciation for it. And I love that I can throw all my crap in here. Uh, there's no divider. I can still see everything at a glance. And it's just, I mean, I can fit a crazy, like a crazy, a crazy, ridiculous amount of items in here. It's, it's insane. It's absolutely insane, but I can go for all full size SLGs. I can go for uber compact. I can go for just smaller SLGs. I mean, it is so insanely versatile. Now it does come with a removable adjustable crossbody slash shoulder strap. I don't like that strap at all. So I opted to go for the, um, the top hand, I added a top handle to it, I should say. Uh, and this is from Organize My Bag and I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love using it like this. Sometimes I'll throw it on my shoulder as well. And it's, it's great. 
it's great. I am not, you know, I'm not worried about the, the leather because it already has this beautiful base patina. I did get caught in the rain with it and not a single water stain showed up. And even if the water stain showed up, who cares? You know, because I'm using the bag to the fullest. But yeah, I, I love it that this, I don't find it to be fussy. If I wanted to have a little bit more security, I just end up kind of uh, doing this. But for the most part, I have it set, uh, you guys know, because I've talked about this before, but I do have it uh, at a certain setting so that way I can see everything at a glance and I can still put everything in here and take it out without having to mess with this. I don't really like those little sliders that, uh, that, you know, that you can put on here. I appreciate them, but it's definitely not for me. But yeah, it's just an open compartment that, I mean, the Noe style has been around for such a long time. I love the history of it, but who knew? Who knew that I would be this over a bucket style bag. Like I, I never dreamed that I would feel the way that I do about a bucket style bag at all. I always thought it, I, I mean, it would be like a, a toe. Obviously I love totes, totes are my number one, but this, this style is, is, I mean, easily creeping up to be my second preferred style of handbag because it's so easy to use, you know? And even when I do have it fully loaded and I just put it on the crook of my arm, I don't find that it's uncomfortable. I don't find that it's too bulbous and it's too bulky or anything along those lines. Although I will let you know that if you were to use this crossbody, at least for me anyways, so I should say, when I have tried to use this crossbody with a different strap, I really don't like using it this way because it does have such a large base. I find that it ends up being a little, it protrudes off my body a little more than I would like. Uh, so it's not, it doesn't necessarily lay super, super flat up against, you know, your torso, which I think is a given again, because you have this large base, but yeah, it's, <laughs> it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I could talk about this bag forever and a day. I'm not going to do that. Plus I could talk until the cows come home. We all know this. Uh, but yeah, so that does it for my top five most used bags so far. I would love to know what are your top five most used bags this year. Let us know in the comment section down below, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to give you a little bit more information, especially if you're looking to add any of these bags to your collection. But I love you to the moon and back. If you enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The twist is yours. Have a great day.